Hi guys, Stuart here from Airshow World and uh, welcome to part two of the um, tutorial for BCT 15X. What are we going to do in this uh, tutorial? We're going to move um, along uh, tutorial number one where as I say literally the very basics uh, more or less um, more like an unboxing video if, if you like. I'm showing you the very very basic first things to do when you first plug in your um, uh, radio and I explained about the cables that, that you use please li leave a comment by the way on the, um, uh, the the videos if you want some more explanations about um, say where if you haven't got a cable to be able to use your um, uh, scanner via the uh, computer or laptop um, just yeah please feel free okay so what are we get going to do today I'm going to um, show you through some of the uh, menus on this um, particular uh, uh, tutorial okay so here's the interface just here okay showed you last time about these so I'm not going to go through any of these I'm not going to tell you about the GPS in this particular um, tutorial but wait for that one because I can tell it you will be yeah it's a good thing to have but anyway that's for later okay so menu right it's yeah, this is just like you were I'm using this because so I can show you how it all works right so then in the menu you've got um, program system yeah so if we wanted to go into there look into it that takes you out and just here we go okay so these are basically all of my systems that I have in this um, particular radio all right and uh, yeah it's quite a few there we go um, as you can see I'm a bit of a fan of um, my military aircraft okay so let's just go back one so that's showing the systems okay let's go back in there double click this will take us in there so let's pick a system to look at um any old thing let's have a look okay let's click in there double click Okay, so in each system, what you have inside a system are groups. So, what are groups? Okay, well that's where you store your frequencies. So, let's go down to, our, let's have a look, edit group. Okay, now in this particular <laughs> system, as you can see, I've got lots of different air bases in here. Okay. So remember, the system is the actual. Um, if you think of it like a, a best analogy would be to think of a filing cabinet. Okay. So the system is the filing cabinet. Inside there, yeah, you've got uh, folders. Okay. And in those folders, you, you've got files. Okay, think about it th that way. So inside there, let's have a look. So you could think that we're inside one of those um, folders. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see what, what we have in here. So this is Ashbourne, a um, little um, airfield that's... Um, uh, yeah, in, near, near the, in Derbyshire okay there we go so all I've really got in here is just the um, it's AG right and um, which is the air to ground um, fre frequency okay I'm gonna scroll I am um, edit frequency and that's the frequency for that um, uh, for Ashbourne okay so we're going to move out of there so basically this is how if you wanted to spend 
hours and hours and hours, which is not advisable at all, um, programming your scanner from scratch um, using all of these keys, that's how you, you would do it. And it would be a bit of a long, long winded job um, typing in all of the uh, sort of Ashbourne, Andrews Field, and the like, and so on. As you can see, we've got a lot of. A lot of stuff in here okay I'm going back to click menu because that's by clicking menu it's like a, a backspace key okay so we can go back click menu again here we go menu again and that takes us back to where we started uh, with a program system let's go back back in there and um, if you um, noticed the actual name of the um, system that we were in was called GPS yeah now as I said in a later video I will tell you how to set these GPS uh, systems up but that's what I've called this system you can see there GPS let's go in inside that and in here this is what I love about the way Uniden have this um, scanner set up because as I explained I've got a system here called GPS and inside there I can have up to 99 different groups so in other words I've got 99 um, different airfields all in here but so if I click on edit group uh, I could have up to 99 yeah so in other words I can have the whole country um, covered and in each of those um, airfields I've also got data in there that has the let's click in there to show you would be better and um, in there I have set location info you see that and in there you can set the um, grid coordinates so in other words when I'm driving past an airfield I've got the GPS running it will automatically without anything automatically go straight to that particular airfield as I'm driving right around the country it's a great facility you to use that's as far as I'm going to go explaining about the GPS because I'm going to do a full tutorial about how to set up all your GPS and believe me it's it takes a while to do but it's well worth it and um, it's something that I um, yeah it's one of my favorite features about it it's excellent um, we'll go and um, we'll come out of them um, the systems okay I am we're in the menu settings so we shall Let's have a look to what other. Just a moment. Let's go back to menu. Okay, scroll down. Let's see what we've got. Let's go. It's um, close call options. Let's have a look. Um, settings. So we'll go into the um, settings. See what's in there. And in settings, you have you can adjust the backlight you can um, take out that um, very annoying beep every time you press a key and you hear it go beep beep yep if you go in there you can in my case I've switched it off because it drives me crazy yeah um, or you can set different uh, volume uh, different I'm not sure whether it sounds or different yeah di different um, volume levels for it but yeah in my case I prefer to have it um, switched off um, if the, the next one down is pretty um, is pretty obvious uh, if you had your radio um, tilted upside down click that and uh, your display would be um, upside down and um, you can set the um, backlight like that particular one just there let's see what else we have um, the scanner info that would tell you um, what the latest firmware and anything else 
the radio I won't go into that and um, set serial port let's have a look what's it in there set the okay what um, this means um, you have you can um, tell the radio to either use the front port and if you have a look on the back you'll see some back ports as well okay so you have the option to be able to use the front or the back okay let's um, go back one let's have a look okay go back to menu so that's all to do with your serial port okay, I'm not going to go too much into um, technical information um, I would uh, point you in the direction of um, the uh, um, a user manual and um, also there's an excellent um, resource on the internet um, it's called something like um, old oh, easy to use um, uh, Uniden scanners whatever what I will do if you look in the description of the video you will see um, a link to take you straight to this particular um, easy, easy to use manual rather than the manual that um, comes with the radio which is on a CD anyway um, but I've always found the manual that comes with this radio it um, says it will say what it does but it won't show you what it does which is uh, to me um, a little bit annoying but the easy to use manual will um, will make it sound a lot um, simpler okay so I think that's um, Yes, you can adjust the contrast, um, set channel output, GPS format, set serial port, band default. Yeah, okay, so I think, to, to be honest, that's as far as I'm g going to go with um, the actual menu. Okay, so we'll go out of that. There we go. So clicking it twice, sit, uh, send it through. And at the moment, I've just got um, EGNX. Um, actually, um, that's what I've called it. It's um, East Mids Airport. That's the uh, code for here. Um, that's what I've got running at the moment. And um, you'll notice on the um, radio, next to the S here, you'll see I've got a 1 and a number 3 flashing. Okay. What that means, that's... I've set a quick key for this particular um, system okay now if I click um, I recommend using quick keys and I will show you the reason why here we go many of you may be watching this and go yes I know all this yes but um, what I'm doing with these videos is actually starting right from scratch so if I go dot one three you notice it says nothing to scan because um, the quick key for that particular group and um, that system should I say <laughs> see even I get them mixed up systems and groups that particular system right, has a quick key of 13 now if it's a double digit um, number that you've put in because you can have up to 99 quick keys yeah, and you can have 99 um, groups in a system. Okay, but I've got um, this particular one that was scanning. Right, that is the system. Okay, so look, here we go. Dot one three, and that started it uh, scanning straight away. Now, um, just from memory, from setting up, from using this radio over and over so many times. I know basically what most of the um, quick keys are. Um, make sure I, I say I can't um, over um, estimate how I think quick keys are important because it just makes life so much easier instead of having to go to the menu each time and say, "Oh yes, th this is the um, um, particular um, system I want to run." From memory, I have on here. Um, uh, dot four four is I've got that set to London military so you see 
what I'm saying it is so much quicker <laughs> it just as fast as that okay yeah I want to switch that off da -da -da -dum. yeah okay dot one three okay if it's a single digit um, quick key that you've assigned to that particular system such as this one watch number seven there we go um, you just click seven and that's it take it off it says nothing to scan dot one one okay and that's my full um everything from um east, east mids is in this particular one sometimes i just like to have two frequent uh two frequencies um scanning so what i'll do dot one one that's why i had dot one three running which is um just two frequencies and you can see the frequencies um via the pro scan software there we go so it's scanning through three i think uh one two four point zero one two one nine and one three four one seven five that's the uh, frequencies um okay so i'm going to bring this um, tutorial to a close uh tutorial number three i'll i will then get to the point of showing you how to very quickly get these um, frequencies into the actual scanner and to assign the quick keys how to put the quick keys on here okay so so far in this tutorial I've showed you the menu how to um, start the quick keys and as I said on the next tutorial I'll show you how to assign the quick keys and how to put the frequencies into the uh, radio um, as fast as possible without all of the um, programming you know touching all of these keys okay sorry about them um, the bit of waffle but um, yes I do tend to go on a little bit all right thanks very much for watching don't forget uh, subscribe to um, Airshow World um, you'll find about 400 different uh, aviation related uh, videos all done by ourselves and um, also air show videos low fly videos a lot okay if you subscribe don't forget to select the option that says get notifications by doing that when i put a new video on you'll be the first to know thanks for watching stand by for number three that'll be coming up very very soon thank you